Welcome to Micro, a podcast for short but powerful writing. I'm your host, Drew Hawkins. In this episode, writers play with form, employing titles longer than their stories, using fragmented snapshots in a progression, and structuring syntax and words to reflect the flow of a river. In each work, nature and natural forces reveal something about the people within them and tell us something about ourselves. In this first segmented and beautiful mosaic piece, natural disasters frame moments between a couple over the years of their relationship. It's called A Brief Progression of Natural Disasters. It was written by Tara Isabel Zambrano and published by Jellyfish Review on March 4th, 2019. Enjoy. Brief Progression of Natural Disasters Avalanche When you insert your fingers inside me, I imagine the scar on your wrist advancing like a crack in the windshield, cascading sticky junk out of me, its smell filling the room. I say your name out loud and you whisper, Shh, we aren't young anymore. Volcano When you say you're still hungry and cut yourself while slicing an apple, I suck on your finger, a faucet now, your blood swimming in my veins, a lava sheen sealing all the open spaces under my skin. Sinkhole, when the storm warning goes off and we sit together in the closet, an inch separating us, we talk about the towns we grew in, people We'd want to meet again, shake their hands, and kiss their foreheads. As a middle schooler, you followed the rail tracks across towns, over the swelling rivers, the markings like barbed wires on the maps, snaking, touching, and leaving. I count the towns where we had sex. I think of the places I've had sex with someone else. Earthquake When the night is pale and noisy, we don't ask each other, are you awake? We hear our breath, the creaking bed strings, the deep creases on the sheets like fault lines. We try to make shapes from our clothes hanging in the corner. Flood. When you get up, even though your sleeping pills and water bottle are on the side table next to the bed, I stir as if... I was asleep, and you say the house walls are closing in on you. Outside, on the pavement, you look up at the star-throbbed sky and ask what day it is. We keep going around the neighborhood, trotting through the darkness, until we are slick with dew. Tornado. When you can't come back and sit in the study, talk about the love letters we wrote to each other, the stickers we used, the way we signed our names. You say you miss writing letters. You say, despite your best efforts, there is a missed turn flagged on the road of our marriage. Your eyes gaze into mine as if you know about my screw-ups. I suck the air and turn around to leave, my secrets flying like debris within the funnel of my body. My heart, a rotating steam devil. Tara Isabel Zambrano is a writer of color and author of Death, Desire, and Other Destinations from OK Donkey Press. You can find her on Twitter at The Inner Zone, on Instagram at T.I. Zambrano, or on her website, at taraisabelzambrano.wixsite.com. This next piece is a testament to the power of strong titles and the way they interact with the stories they precede. In this case, both are vital, and the title is longer than the story itself. 
We highly recommend that you take a look at how this one appears on the page. It was written by Paula Harris and published by Twin Pies Literary, and we'll let Paula read the title. Enjoy. Chris pauses to enjoy the flowering cherry trees near his office, while a small Japanese man stands in front of them saying, Beautiful, 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 over and over again. Chris sends me a photo of the trees in bloom, but not of the small Japanese man. Beautiful. 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 Paula Harris lives in Aotearoa, New Zealand, and her writing has appeared in various journals, including The Sun, Hobart, and Passages North. You can find her on Twitter at Paula Off Kilter, on Instagram at Paula Harris underscore poet, on Facebook at Paula Harris Poet, or on her website at paulaharris.co.nz. Our final piece is a story that employs wordplay and structure to reflect the nature of surprise and expectations, tumbling and flowing like a river, or riv, or simply a re. It's called Past a Roar Completed. It was written by David Naiman and published by Fiction International on October 14, 2015. Enjoy. Past a roar completed. We had always gone, at the split, to the left, on a truncated stretch of sinister river, so short, it was really a river, or a riv, or a ree, for it butt up against a vestigial pool that itself butted up against a field of scree. We would debark and scrabble across those rock fragments. Were these sedimented chunks, these broken mountain parts, what stopped this re from completing itself? And head back to the flow of life we'd left around the bend. But today, a day like so many others, the boatman dragged his oars against the current, turned to face us, revealed his face to us by unhooding his head and said, nodding it, what would happen if we went the other direction? It was unclear whether this was rhetorical, earnest, ironic, a challenge, a dare, or perhaps an idle musing, a riddle to himself, or for us, or a true spontaneous curiosity, as if the possibility had never crossed his mind prior to this very moment, despite the countless times this split had presented itself to us in just the very way it did right then, right here, right now. We went that other way, right, right into the excess of river liquid gushing, as if the whole of the world were rupturing into a fluid wholeness of sound, noise, music, words, vibration, of momentum, inertia, a vapor form, as if we were traveling a whirl of sentences written past themselves, past a roar completed, and yet roaring still, until, into, toward, a hoarse fragment of beginning, just beginning.
David Naiman is a writer of prose and poetry, the co-author of Ursula K. Le Guin, Conversations on Writing, co-written with Ursula K. Le Guin, and host of the literary podcast Between the Covers in Portland, Oregon. You can find him on Twitter at David Naiman, on Facebook at David.Naiman, or on his website at tenhouse.com slash podcast. Micro is edited and curated by Dylan Evers and produced and hosted by me, Drew Hawkins. Our theme song is by Matt Ordez. You can find all the information about this episode's writers, their featured work, and the publications where they were published in the show notes. Subscribe to the show on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts and check out some of our other episodes. You can also always find our shows at micropodcast.org. And you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Podcast Micro. Thanks for listening.